All right, guys, Statue on the 75 here with a piece that I've had for quite some time and I haven't reviewed because I've just been lazy. But uh, I finally got around to unboxing this and reviewing it. And let me say, this is just epic. It's uh, truly epic. It's amazing. It's, it's such a good piece. Um, what I love about these hot toys is, you know, I'm a huge statue fan. I'm not big on the figures, but I, when I buy a hot toy, I just keep it in one set pose like a statue. Um, I like the ones that don't show the, you know, the, um, what's the word, you know, the in between the joints and stuff like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. I like it to look like an actual person. And these pieces are amazing. Like the likeness, a statue, the face will never be like as good as these are. The likeness is just uncanny. Anyway, let's get to the review of this thing. It's the Road War, Road Worn Thor exclusive from sideshow from obviously a great movie i loved this movie some people didn't like it some people did i freaking loved it thor ragnarok it's my favorite thor movie of course it's from hot toys and distributed by sideshow uh, movie masterpiece collection and we got the side of the box i'm not a big uh reviewer for the boxes and all that stuff with the Hot Toys pieces, but just to show you the credits, you know, you could pause it and read it if you want to read it. And very sad times in the Marvel Universe with the loss of the great Stan Lee. Uh, but, you know, his legacy lives on with all these amazing characters that he has either created or helped to create with his amazing imagination. I'm not going to get into a review of all the parts and pieces. Uh, because there's plenty of other um, Hot Toys, dedicated Hot Toys reviewers that will do that. But let's just look at the detail of this guy. I'm not going to screw around with it. I don't do the articulation like those reviewers do. So you can check theirs out if you want to see the articulation. I don't play with these things. I just set them up and leave them. Basically in one pose like a statue. Um, and this piece just looks awesome. It is 100%, pretty much 100% screen authentic um, this chain is the actual chain from the movie like it looked just like that uh, the costuming is is just uncanny how you know accurate it is to the movie and the portrait the Chris Helmsworth portrait is just so true to his portrait I mean it just that looks like Chris Helmsworth really does um, this whole thing is a Toy Fair exclusive. I love how he's got Suda's crown, you know, was part of it, which is just a great touch. The chain through the eye, just like in the movie. Um, the detail on Thor's hair, just the, the, the braids and strands of hair, and it's all sculpt, but and it's epic sculpt, the veins in the arms. The elbows could look a little better at the joints, but, you know, at least it doesn't show. Like, you can kind of see a little bit there, but you can only hide it so much with the, with the figures. But still, it, I'm, not, I'm not faulting it, taking that anything from it, because it looks great. Um, you know what, I gotta put the camera down for one split second. Just to um, show you something really cool, I'm going to show you how the, with just the twist of the handle of Millennial, it lights up for the lightning, which is a really cool feature. This is the first uh, Hot Toys Thor I ever got that lights up with the lightning effect, which is really cool. It looks really good. Obviously, you can see the, uh, the batteries. Let me get some focus here. Let's get some focus. I don't know why this camera just stop focusing come on there we go there's some good focus there's a little screw there with a little tiny three watch batteries go in it comes with them so and you basically just twist this uh, handle of Millennia and it will light up off and on you know it turns it off and on by twisting the handle so which is perfect just a really nice feature and of course the base says Thor Ragnarok and um, from the movie show you something else really cool just to 
show you how good the uh, likeness is. I do have one of the Hot Toys, Chris Helmsworth Thor. And that would be from the Dark World, which was a trade that I made. Uh, let me put this down for one second, just to get him on the stand for you. Sorry, just having some technical difficulties getting Thor to stand upright. I apologize. Kind of regretting that I went to grab Thor now. The other Thor, at least. There, he seems to be pretty stable. <laughs> but I did just want to show you them side by side. There's the Dark World Thor. And the uh, Thor Ragnarok Thor. Both great portraits of Chris Helmsworth. I do think the Ragnarok one might look a little bit better. But they're both good. The arms do look better on the uh, on the other Thor, the Dark World Thor. They definitely do look better than the naked arm. Because the rubber just, just doesn't look 100% natural at the elbow. And of course, you don't see any seams. That's what the word is, seams. At the wrist, you don't see any seams. Because he has those uh, arm plates that kind of hide the seams. The arm plates for the Thor Ragnarok are really thin, so they don't fully cover the wrist. Which is fine, but you don't really notice it. But that Malignor is awesome. He did come, the Thor Ragnarok, the, the road-worn Thor, road Thor, did come with a, a metal Malignor like this one. This thing is solid heavy metal. Um, and he also came with one that doesn't light up. Obviously the light up one is much lighter, because it's hollow, and uh, for the batteries and everything. Um, but, so he did come with two Molinos. Obviously this one came with just one because he didn't come with a light up one. So I definitely give the bonus to the Road War. Road Worn Thor from Thor Ragnarok. Um, I think it's uh, probably more for your buck there. I definitely got to stand him up better. Kind of lost his whole. It's another thing with these Thors at the waist, they lean forward kind of. Just because the probably because the weight and heft of the uh, solid metal hammer. But once you do stand them up and pose them for good, they are fine. I just moved him just now and screwed it up. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. Give you a 360 of the road worn Thor. Just looks great with the tattered cape and the dirt and it's uneven. It's burnt. Just really cool. Very nice detail. Love that light up feature. If I had time to get up and flip the lights, I would, but switch is all the way on the other end of the room. So I've already put the camera down enough for you guys. But that's it. There you have it. The Sideshow exclusive Thor Ragnarok Road Worn Thor exclusive. Please, guys, thumbs up. I uh, appreciate your like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel do appreciate the support hope you enjoyed the video review and thanks for watching as always and in the words of the uh, late great Stan Lee Excelsior alright guys thanks for watching oh have a happy Thanksgiving also